What's up YouTube, Mechset Guy here. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over the Nest E thermostat. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, it's essentially a smart thermostat that you can control via an app on your smartphone or even Google Home or Alexa. Now, what's pretty cool about this thermostat is that it's supposed to save energy because what it does, it actually learns your patterns in your home. So that way it knows when you're not home, when you are home, and it kind of adjusts based off those patterns. So that's kind of one of the reasons that I got it because I wanted to see if it actually saved you energy. But on top of that, it's not as expensive as the Nest third generation, I believe, which is about 200 and something dollars. This one actually comes in at $169, which isn't that bad. So let's jump into it and see what it has to offer. So for starters, the Nest E comes in this nice box with some important information regarding which heating and cooling system it will support and information on where to go check if your system is compatible or not. Before purchasing this, I would suggest you do that. The unboxing is pretty straightforward and when you pop the box open, you will immediately be greeted by the thermostat itself. Next, you have some instructions which I suggest you read. Then it's the base in which all the cables will be plugging into. And last is the back plate. Oh, and there are some screws in the cardboard por portion, so don't throw that away because I almost did. So the thermostat is pretty sleek and I like the color choice. It's simple and just blends in well with my walls, which is one of the reasons I decided to go with this rather than the more expensive version. The back of the thermostat has a small micro USB port, which I'm not really sure what it's for, a QR code, and of course the power port for when you attach it to the base, and that's pretty much it. The setup can be overwhelming for most, especially if you've never done this before but honestly it's really simple and straightforward the instruction manual guides you step by step so do read this if it's your first time such as myself first you need to ensure the power to the unit is off either by cutting out the breaker inside your home or in my case the breaker to the unit was outside once it is completely off you can move forward to removing the old thermostat you will need to remove the cables carefully from the base but before doing so, take a picture so you know where each cable was plugged into. The instructions come with stickers that you can apply to the cables accordingly, so that way you don't plug the wrong cable to the wrong port, but in my case, I didn't need them because my cables were color coordinated. Once you remove the old base, you can now install the new base. You don't have to use the base plate, but I did because the wall was not painted behind the old thermostat. Align all the cables in the appropriate port and to ensure that they're securely in place, tug each cable and also if the connectors are not pushed down, then the cable is not properly in place, so ensure that is the case. There is a bubble level at the top of the base, so do use that to ensure the thermostat is properly aligned. And once it is, go ahead and screw the base into the wall, attach the thermostat to the base, and then go turn the power back on to the unit. If all goes well, you should see the thermostat come on with the little home logo. So at this point, it's simply the application and setup portion of the process. Just follow the on-screen steps on the Nest thermostat, which are really simple to follow. You will be asked for your language, also for your Wi-Fi connection so that the thermostat can be connected to the internet and also perform some updates. In addition to your location, the type of system you have and other important questions to get the best use out of your thermostat. Now, to ensure the system works, it will perform a test on your heating and cooling, which I actually was a really big fan of. That way, if you didn't install a cable correctly, you can easily pop it off and correct the issue. You will get to that point in which you will be asked to download the application, which is called Nest for both the App Store and the Play Store. Once downloaded, you will be asked to create or log in to an existing account. If you already have other Nest products in your home, it would probably just be a matter of adding the thermostat to the application, but for me, it was my first Nest product. There are various questions such as your address and the location of the thermostat in your home, and this is simply to get the best use out of the thermostat. Next would be adding the Nest E to the application, which involves getting a key from the thermostat itself, which simply involves going to the Nest app portion by turning the wheel. Once added, that's all there is to it. The app is very simple and easy to navigate. When you pull up the app, you're greeted with a small little home symbol and another icon with the current temperature of your home. If you click on the home icon, it will take you to a section in which you can set the Nest E to home or away status. And if you click on the other icon, this is where you can really get the best use out of the thermostat. From this section, you can turn the temperature up or down. You can change the mode of your system, whether you would like it to be heating or cooling or just simply off. You can also set the thermostat to eco mode, which supposedly saves you energy, to even turning the fan on or off. 
scheduling the system, and viewing the energy usage history. Again, the app is very simple and easy to navigate. There shouldn't be any reason why anyone should get confused when navigating through it. Another cool thing about this app is that you can also see the inside humidity of your home and sliding over brings the weather for the day, which I thought was pretty neat. Now, by clicking the gear icon at the top right portion of the screen, switches you over to the more intense settings. From here, you can trigger a lot more complex actions. For this section, you're able to turn on the auto scheduling, which I have on simply because what it does, it learns your patterns on how you heat or cool your home. And based off those patterns, it learns to do them automatically. In addition, you can turn the other features on such as the time to temp, which simply displays on your thermostat how long until your home reaches your desired temperature, and other cool features such as early on and cool to dry. There are many other features you can use, but because of the season we are in, I'm not able to take advantage of those. However, once the appropriate season arrives, I'm sure features such as the airwave, which essentially switches your AC off after your home is cooled, and then uses the unit's fan system to disperse the remaining cool air. I thought this was pretty cool and can potentially save quite a bit on cost since your AC wouldn't constantly be on. So far, I have been able to use this thermostat for about two weeks and I can't really tell if my utility bill has changed much since I installed the thermostat. However, I will say that I have noticed my heating system has not been constantly turning on and I think it's because the Nest E has managed to learn when I wake up in the morning and also when no one is home and it has adjusted the temperature based off those patterns. So when I wake up in the morning, my home is quite warm and when I'm gone, it knows to lower the temperature so that it's not constantly coming on. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is the difference between you doing this manually on your current thermostat if you don't have this one and if you had this smart thermostat like the Nest E? Well, for one, you don't have to constantly keep turning the temperature up and down to fit your needs because the thermostat learns these patterns. And second, it's something you can control from anywhere in the world. Simple scenario would be you go or leave your home for vacation and when you're almost home from your vacation, simply go into the app and turn the thermostat to the desired temperature so that way when you get home, you don't even have to think about it. Besides being able to control the Nessie through the app, you can also pair with your Google Home or Alexa, which is pretty cool. So that way when you're sitting on the couch one day and you get cold, just say, Hey Google, I'm cold. Okay baby, I got you. I'll make your home nice and toasty. Setting your thermostat to 68 degrees. So, is the Nest E thermostat worth the $169 price tag? Well, for me, it's a yes, and this is simply because the amount of control and features I'm offered. Call me lazy, but being able to tell Google to turn the thermostat to a certain temperature is really cool. Not only do I see this device saving me energy, but little things such as the Nest E coming on when you walk by and the screen going out after it doesn't sense activity are features that make this device stand out when on or blend in when not in use. Simple, subtle, and to the point. Well guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoy the content and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll catch you guys in the next one, later.